There! Get to the gate! Now keep going! We'll open up! Shit! Hey! Open up! Open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Fuck, these bullets won't fire. <laughs> Inside. Come on now. Whoa. God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah. And when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. All right, we get it. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. No, no, this place is actually kind of charming. It's got walls all the way around and, well, that thing. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty cool place. Hey, Javi. What's, what's up? My family, they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. 
Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. <laughs> Holy shit. Hair's a bad sign. <laughs> no kidding. I'm out. Fold. Now that's a shame. Let's see how it could have gone. You folded that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. Oh my, that was a close one. Yeah, good thing he didn't call. Uh, good thing is right. Now that's a reason to celebrate. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, oh, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> that's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal, and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Okay, all right. You really want to get to the bottom of this? Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, Unfucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Huh? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... Ch what the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty, and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are gonna have a little talk. I'm telling you, he Stop. was... Stop. Just stop talking. And you? Thanks for being straight with me. Go find Eleanor. She'll fix you up. Till her trip sent you. Now move it. All right, all right. Here you go. Try and get some rest, okay? Thanks, Eleanor. Ugh, that looks like a nasty cut. Oh, that must have hurt. Whoa. You come to the right place. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Have a seat. I'll take a look. My name's Eleanor. Javier. Call me Javi. A little lower and you might have lost an eye. And that is not something you want to mess around with. 
exactly why I keep a spare, right? Just in case. You know, I, I bet I'd look pretty badass with an eye patch. Hey, don't joke. So, I have to ask, is it true? What's that? I heard you were with that girl, Clementine. You put a bullet in some guy's brain over in the hangar. Don't act so surprised. Nope. You got me mixed up with some other dude. Right. Must have been the other handsome young Latino stranger in town. Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? I've never understood it. See, that's where you got me wrong. I'm the furthest thing there is from trouble. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Look, I know you didn't pull the trigger, but that girl, Clementine, there's something cold behind her eyes. I don't know. She's got issues, and that's for sure. She wears it on her sleeve. In my somewhat professional opinion, you said it. She is useful, though. She's helping me find my family. We were attacked earlier this evening. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. For family to make it this far? If we're being real about it, I fucked up. I fucked up bad. I left them on their own. <laughs> Let go of me! There you go. Trip, what's going on? Clementine and I had a little talk. He's letting us leave once the herd passes. Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna hightail you tomorrow, when it's safe. You two can spend the night here in the infirmary. I'll see you in the morning. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. All three of us. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. Um, what if we get caught? You won't. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Whoa, wait a second. Why are you helping me? Well, you told me you weren't in any trouble. So, I'm gonna take your word on it. Huh. Never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, I still trust Trip more than I trust her. But hey, it's your call. Once we get to the junkyard, I get my van and we go our separate ways. We're leaving tonight with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. You know, when you're out on your own, you can never really let your guard down. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you can never really count on anyone else. Clementine, I... I'm done talking. The doctor lady said she'd be a while, and I want to catch as much sleep as I can. Good night. Draw in there, goofball. Can I see? <sighs> you know I'm no good at this game, but I'll try to guess what it is. Just give me a second. I'll figure it out. It's a doggy, right? It's me? <coughs> <sighs> it looks just like me. Come on, can you say Clem, AJ? Give it a try. Clem. Not much of a talker, are you, goofball? Edith says you should be speaking by now, but... Don't worry about it. You'll talk when you're ready. 
That was weird. Clem, open up. It's me. Edith, what's wrong? The group from last week. They're back. And now they're armed. This is bad, Clem. Th th there's a lot of them. Too many of them. I, I don't like the looks of it. Pack whatever you can. Be ready to run, just in case. They got a lot of cars and they're seriously pissed off. This is gonna get ugly. I know it. Now pack your stuff. When I get back, we gotta get the hell out. Shit, shit, shit. Very essentials. Come on. We fucking begged you, man. Our people are sick and starving. It didn't have to be this way. You could have just given us some grub, some medicine, that's it. This is your fault. Y'all are just hoarding it for your fucking selves. Horseshit! If you don't have nothing, why are y'all hiding behind such huge fucking walls? You think we're- Clem! Clem! They're inside! We have to go now! Sun's up. <sighs> Trip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Relationships can change pretty fast, and they're never not complicated. Sounds like you've got something on your mind. Or someone. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. I thought I was hallucinating at first. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go get your brother back, sweetie. Oh no. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kane.
They're trapped in there. Ariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots. He's right. We fire at the truck, we might hit them. I think we get a pass. Oh. I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. Oh, I thought we were done for. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push our luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Eh, don't get your hopes up too high. It's a nice place, but it's not the Ritz. Well, whatever they've got, I'm sure it's gonna be great. You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. I'm just... happy for you is all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. Stop! Ah! Stop! <laughs> 